Hi everyone, it's Evie Angeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack right here on our 2021 Ford Bronco. This is a very compact and lightweight platform rack. So if you're looking for something that doesn't take up too much space, it's really easy to throw onto your Ford Bronco, but still has the stability of a good platform rack, that's where the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 comes in handy. So we'll take a look at some of its different features and specs, but we are gonna focus on our Ford Bronco today. That way you can see what is the better bike rack for you, your different types of bikes, and your Bronco. The main thing with the Ford Bronco is the spare tire in the back. So right off the bat, I'd like to say that this bike rack does not go out far enough where we can fold it up and have clearance with that spare tire. Another thing is that we are currently using the draw tight hitch. So this is gonna be one of the hitches that are a little bit further out and give you more clearance. So if you have the factory hitch or another hitch receiver, you won't have the same types of measurements as we will have here. So with that being said, let's take a look at the way our bike fits on there. So note how we have short pedals here, which means we have plenty of clearance between the pedals and our spare tire. Our handlebars go above the spare tire, so no issues there in terms of length. What's also helpful here is the way our bike is tied down. So we have three points. So one is gonna be this wheel strap holding on to our front as well as our rear wheels. Then we also have this frame mount. The frame mount itself is a bit unique in that you can move this up, down, side to side, and even around to accommodate for those frames of different shapes and sizes. This does have a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike. So this keeps with the lightweight bike rack. So if you have extra heavy electric bikes, this probably won't be a good fit for you. You may wanna check out our other options like the Kuat Transfer, which has a bit more of a weight capacity. Now, um, we're gonna take our bike off. So we're gonna start at this lever on the wheel strap. You press that lever and that allows you to bring the strap up and I like to just swing it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in our spokes. So that was one strap and here's our second strap. And that's gonna go over here and then we're gonna go over to the frame mount. So this is gonna be a little bit different depending on your bike's frame. You're gonna have to figure out what works best for you. I support my bike with my elbow as I get the strap with my hands here. But once that strap is disengaged, you just lift it just a slight bit over that mass and you are ready to go for a ride. With the bike off, we get to take a closer look at the bike rack itself. Notice how we have these cradles which swing downwards and I've begun calling it the wings. Now you have these straps just to help accommodate your different wheel bases too with a maximum wheelbase of 48 inch long bikes. You also have the ability to move your bike back and forth on the rack just to get the best fit for your frame mount, whether you have it on, let's say, the seat post or on the frame itself. So our cradles on the wings as well as our frame mount have these straps which go around and secure your bike. Notice how this has that little rubber cushion just to help give it some cushion but also extra grip. I personally recommend when your bikes are not on there, please put your straps away. That way they're not flopping around as you drive around. So there are gonna be some features that you do lose with this bike rack or did not have to begin with. One is gonna be it does not have a tilt away feature. So if you wanted to open up your door here in the back of your Bronco, you would not be able to do so whether the bikes are on or even off because you can see how this mast goes up and will interfere with your spare tire. So we're not gonna take a look at those features. If you wanna take your, if you wanna access your door, you will have to take your bike rack off and we'll talk about that later. So how much length does this add to the back of our vehicle? So I'm actually gonna measure from our bumper first to the end of the rack, which is right over here by these nice white reflectors. And that sits at 32 and a half inches. Compare that to the end of our spare tire to that bike rack and that's 21 inches. So this is a measurement to keep in mind if you are hurting for space when you back into your garage or park into a tight spot. Don't forget that you have a bike rack as well as two bikes behind you. 
piggy measurement for ground clearance. We're gonna measure at the end of the rack to the ground 20 inches. Then we have that rise, so it sits at 24 and a half inches here. So usually ground clearance is a concern for some people with lower vehicles because as they go up those steep inclines like drive, haze, or hills, their front goes up, their back goes down, and they wanna make sure their bikes don't hit the ground. With the Bronco, that's not gonna be an issue. What may be something some people don't think about though is how high are you gonna lift your bikes up onto your bike rack? With this only having a 35 pound weight capacity, you probably won't be hurting for how high this goes. And if you're driving around town and you don't have your bikes on just yet, you may wanna bring this mast down. This is also what you need to do in order to fold it up and keep it easier to store. So we have this knob here. You're gonna rotate that knob just a little bit just so you can lift the stand out of the way. And then don't forget to tighten that knob back down. But once that is released, you will be able to swing the entire mast down. And this is gonna be secured with either your frame mount strap or your wheel straps. So if you wanna keep this bike rack behind you cause you're planning on going for a ride in a second, let's talk about living with this on there. So you're gonna have that length added. You won't be able to fold this up since we don't have clearance with the mast. But the good news is with this in a down position, it's compact enough where it shouldn't add too much length relative to your Bronco. With it down here, notice also how our rear or our backup camera is visible. Our spare tire is out of the way. And obviously our taillights and our rear window are completely visible too. Now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. And this information is important too because this is how you're gonna be installing and uninstalling your bike rack. So what we have here is an inch and a quarter shank with an included two inch hitch adapter that pops right into your hitch receiver and tightens down with an anti-rail bolt and a lock. Now that anti-rail bolt uses a three quarter inch socket to tighten that down or I guess wrench. If you don't have an extra one, you can buy one right here at eTrailer if you wanna keep that inside of your vehicle. But with that tightened down there, if you wanna take this off real quick, you're just gonna to have to undo that bolt and then you undo that anti-rattle and then you can toss this into your trunk. To demonstrate how that anti-rattle works, even with the hitch adapter on there, as I shrink our bike rack by the shank, just to try to make that remote movement and vibration, notice how easily I'm moving our Bronco here. That's because that connection is nice and secure, even with that adapter. So my personal thoughts about this rack is if you're looking for something quick and easy and lightweight so that is available for when you want to carry around your bikes, this is going to be a great option. Now if you're looking for some more premium features like being able to tilt your bike rack away in order to open up your door, that's going to be tricky because of your spare tire. We do have swing away hitches or swing away bike racks. And those are gonna be something completely different like the Rocky Mounts Backstage or even the Yakima Exo system. But this on its own is a very affordable but also checks off most of your boxes when it comes to carrying around bikes of different shapes and sizes. Hopefully in this video, you are able to take a look at what types of features you might like, what you might not like, and that way you can get the best fit for you, your different types of bikes and your vehicle. But this was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Platform Rack on our 2021 Ford Bronco.